The difference between a really good flying plane and a fl plane that flies okay really comes down to the setup quite often. So on this plane, I want to talk about this and, and, and show you how easy it is to go from a setup that's not quite right to a really good setup. And it only takes but a, a few minutes to do that. Right now you can see that I have my horn going through the push rod, we're in the outermost hole, and then we're, we're good to go. So when this flexes, we're gonna get a ton of throw here, we're gonna get a ton of throw here, okay? This gets into a very dangerous place. Anytime you have straight like this, there is the potential for it to go backwards and create a binding issue. So we don't want that. We really want to have roughly 60 degrees of throw on your servo arm. In order to do that, we need to adjust the radio settings from 100, 100 to 120, 120, or even all the way up to 150, 150. So with the servo centered, we're gonna mechanically trim everything in place. We're at zero on this aileron, and we're at zero on the throw. Okay, now we're zeroed out on the aileron. You can see that we're at zero. Okay, now we're going to move the travel 100 to 100 and let's see what we get. So we come up 100, 37.5 degrees. We come down 100, 32 degrees. Now the 37.5 is good, but when we move our travel adjustment, and we take that travel adjustment and we move it up to, we'll try 150 to start with, okay? Now I'm 48.9 degrees, 49 degrees. And then we come down here, 47.9 degrees, okay? 47 degrees of travel, 49 degrees of travel is, is far too much for, for me. 37.5 degrees is a ton of throw. Uh, anything more than that, the plane starts acting a little funny, becomes a little erratic, so I, I, I like it at that. A lot of times I'll actually go down from there and not have quite that much throw. So to do that, if we're gonna have our radio, if we're gonna have the radio at 150, 150, or as close to that as possible, so that we have the largest amount of resolution, then what we need to do is flip the wing back over. All right, so we flip the wing back over and what we do is we move this push rod in to the inner servo. Once we've done that, we're still gonna be mechanically at zero here, but you'll see that our zero is now changed here. We have a bit of a gap. Center that aileron. And rather than dragging this process out, I found that 135 and 135 on my radio turned out to be just about right. And so this is what I ended up with. Uh, on the up, I'm getting 37 degrees and I'm getting 50 degrees of servo throw. On the down, I've got differential built into it. I'm at 36 degrees on the down aileron and I'm still at 50 degrees on the servo throw. Now, once I have everything lined up, everything is good to go. I'm going to lock tight here. I'm going to lock tight. I remove the screw and lock tight in here. And then I'm going to do lock tight underneath here. This has already been lock tighted. Everything is done. Taking the time to set up your servos right really makes a difference. Having good resolution, good linearity, your plane will perform better. If you like the content that's on here, please click that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you comment, share it with your friend. Till next time, happy landings.